mini friends, it's Heather from my mini front porch. I just want to take a minute to share a little bit about the 3D printed door I'm working on. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have noticed in my stories that I've been working on a little shop. It's been quite the 3D printed undertaking because it's quite large. And today I'm working on the door. Um, I decided I'm going to try to print the door and then paint it to resemble wood. I'm not sure how my painting skills are going to go. But it occurred to me that perhaps I can direct the layer lines to imitate wood grain. And if you've ever opened something up in Bamboo Studio, um, you know that the default settings have it drawing your layers on kind of a diagonal. And of course, wood grain on a door is probably not going to be a diagonal. So what I did was I went into strength and I'm gonna change my infill direction right here. And when I slice it again, you can see now that the lines have kind of um, straightened out, but they're horizontal. Um, so I need it to do different things on different parts of the door. So I'm actually gonna rotate this 90 degrees. Oops. Great, let's try this again. 270, please. There we go. And now when I slice it, you can see that these lines are going the way that I would want them to go as a piece of wood. But, Probably on a door, these this would be a piece, and this would be a piece, and this might be something that was placed in there. And it's unlikely that those grain lines would be going this direction. They should be going this way. So in order to change that, I have to add a modifier. So I'm going to go back to prepare, and I'm going to click on the door, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to choose add modifier. Okay, now I want to change the size of my modifier because I actually want everything in the center of the door to have its layer lines, infill lines going the other way. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to resize this guy. And I happen to know that the very center of the door is 50 millimeters. So I'm going to give it 50 millimeters. Oops, not there. <laughs> 50 millimeters here. Now let me lengthen this again. There we go. Now, if I can place it exactly where I need to, let's look at it. If someone knows a way to center the modifier, feel free to tell me because I don't actually, I haven't figured that out yet. But, that's pretty close. Okay, and then I can actually edit the same information down here in that modifier and it will change anything that's inside the modifier. So where it said 90, I'm gonna make it say 180 so that it goes the opposite. And now when I slice it, you can see that the sides of the door are going the way I want and the middle of the door is going the other way. So now when I print it, I'm not gonna iron and depending on how high I set my layer height will affect how um, thick the, or like how intense the grain is. I had it, I printed one all the way down it. Um, all the way down at 0 0.08 millimeters. But I think it turned out pretty good. And I like that it kind of mimics wood grain. Thanks for watching.